morning boys and girls, how are you today? Teacher Jane here, I love Jesus this morning. And you can see today I'm wearing the mask because we want you to remember to wear your mask all the time when you're outside, okay? Yes, it's good to be obedient to these rules that the government is giving us, okay? And where is this? We are at, this is PCEA Gateway Church. And who is our Reverend? Reverend Josephine Mutuota. And who is our patron in church school? Do you know boys and girls? Eh? And we have two patrons. We have Elder Gishimo and Elder Kimani. All these people love you very, very much. And we thank God for this wonderful day. And uh, what is our theme for the church today? Our theme is being thankful. Remembering to say thank you to God. I don't know whether you are thankful. You are going to be taught by teacher Hannah. She has a wonderful story about being thankful. And before I pray, I'm going to teach you a song about remembering to be thankful. Count your blessing, name them one by one. Count your blessings, see what God has done. Count your blessings, name them one by one. And it will surprise you what the Lord has done. That the Lord has done many things for us and we forget and that is why some of us are, don't say thank you to God. Can we run that song again? Count your blessings, name them one by one. Count your blessings, see what God has done. Count your blessings, name them one by one. And it will surprise you what the Lord has done. The Lord God has done a lot of many things for us. And so that is why we need to be thankful. And Teacher Hannah is going to tell you more about that. Okay? Let us pray, boys and girls. Father in heaven, we come before you this morning full of thanksgiving in our hearts because for sure you have done many many things for us we tend to forget we are praying that you forgive us even for forgetting that you are with us you have done many many things for us we thank you father because you have cared for us protected us provided for us whatever we need we thank you for our parents we thank you for so many things we can't even count we thank you. We are healthy this morning. We are strong and healthy. You have watched over us. Thank you, Father, even for this beautiful day. Thank you that we are even able to learn about stories about you through these uh, videos. We thank you even for our teachers who take care of us. Father in heaven, even as the lesson is taught, we are praying that you help us to be good boys and girls, to listen, Help us to understand and even to do what is going to be taught this morning. Help us even to be able to tell others about you, Father in heaven. Father in heaven, we thank you even for our parents who continue to provide for us, even our guardians. We pray for them, continue to be their helper, to give them money, to give for them whatever they need so that they are able to take care of us. We thank you even for our church. We thank you even for our Reverend Josephine Mutuota. We thank you for our elders, deacons. We thank you for everybody. We thank you for all the boys and girls in this church. We pray for them, continue to give them strength, continue to help them in areas of need. Father in heaven, we thank you even for our country, we pray for our president, we pray for the deputy, for all the leaders. We pray that you continue to be their helper in the difficult work of leading our country. 
continue to be with us. Some of us are going to school. We pray that you help them and help all of us. At this time when we are required to follow government rules about corona, wearing masks, eh? keeping distance or not being too close to one another, washing hands, we are praying that you help us in all these things. And we are praying and waiting for that time when all this corona will be uh, defeated and we'll be able to go back to our life, the, the things we used to do before. And it is in Jesus' name we pray and believe. Amen. Good morning, boys and girls. This is Teacher Hannah, and I'm saved this morning. What a wonderful song from Teacher Jane. I like it. It's about thanking God for the many, many blessings. You remember last time we learned that Joseph and Mary, they took their baby, they ran away from a bad king who wanted to kill baby Jesus. And he killed so many boys that time. So they, that's why they had run away. And God took care of them in Egypt. They, they were taken care of, they took care of their baby. I can imagine Joseph was still making tools because he was a carpenter. He took care of his young family. Then one day, now the angel appeared in a dream to Joseph. As we read in Matthew chapter 2, which is our reading today, and verse 19, that after Herod died, an angel of the Lord appeared in a dream to Joseph in Egypt and said, Get up, take this child and his mother and go to the land of Israel, for those who are trying to take the child's life are dead. God had taken good care of them. You can see Joseph in the dream. And now here there is an angel telling him, get up, get up, get up. Because when we pray, God sends his angels even when we are asleep. He can talk to our parents. He can talk to us when we pray, even you boys and girls. Pray to God. Even in a dream, he can show you, even if it's a problem, even if it is like now, you will, some of you are in school, some are not. Some are trying to read. Maybe others are just playing around. There are so many problems out here. We are hearing so many things that are going on. But in a dream, the Lord can reveal to us many things. So here we see Joseph. He has been told what to do. It is time to go back. Because problems will not last forever. Someday, they will end. And we are going to learn. How to be thankful to God when our problems end? And what are these things we want to tell God thank you for as children this morning? Let's see them. In verse 21 it says, So he got up, took the child and his mother, and went to the land of Israel. You see, God is always caring for us. After the dream, now it was time for them to leave Egypt. And he took the child and they rode again back to Israel on a donkey. All those many miles. Think what they were thinking in those miles. They were thanking God that thank you God, when we were in Egypt, you gave us food, you gave us friends, you gave us a house to live, you took care of us. We are still, you can imagine the many things they just went telling God, they are counting their blessings. You see the way teacher has counted their blessings? Joseph and Mary were counting their blessings. Even their child was still healthy. And they went all the way and got to Israel very safe. Our Lord is very caring. Even in these times of problems, he will take care of us and we will reach to a place where we will say, Oh, thank God. With our parents, with our guardians, there are so many things we will count even in this time of all these problems. We can count them. We count our blessings. Now, it's time for activity. I want us to write the many things that we know Joseph and Mary were talking about when they were going back. Like if it was you today morning, what would you be telling God thank you? You'd be telling him thank you for a sister. So you're going to cut a piece of paper, you see? Take a big piece of paper and a pair of scissors and cut small pieces like this one of teacher. So you're going to write the many things. You'd go 
along the way, you'd tell your dad or your mom that I thank God for my sister. Then you'd also tell them that you can thank God for parents, for food, for rain, and the many things. And then we are going to make this into something very beautiful to keep in our rooms. Now, after you write what you are thankful for, you are going to put it round like a bango. Then teacher is using a stapler, but you can use some glue, can use some thread, and then you put it together. Then you are going to make it very colorful. We are going to put the next color. So that this one says thank you for parents. And there will be so many of them. I know yours are many. They, they will make a big chain. You will see the one teacher made. And you see, we are growing the list. Okay, now we have made many of them. Eh? Then what we are going to do, we are going to put them to decorate our rooms or where we do our studies. Because this week, we just want to remember this. You see, very, very beautiful. And I know when I visit or when someone else visits, you tell them that you see, I made something that I'm thanking God for many things he has given me. Now we have a memory verse because we want to remember the many things we are thanking God for. We are doing Psalms 9 and verse 1 that says, I praise you, O Lord, with all my heart. So this week, we are thanking God, we are praising him with all our heart. May God bless you and see you next Sunday. Take care of yourselves. We'll end with a word of prayer. Our dear Heavenly Father, we thank you this morning that you are our Lord even in times of problems, that you take care of us, you take us through journeys, and you bring us back to our land. Heal our land, O oh Lord, and bring it back to what it was. Thank you this morning for every child, for every parent, for every guardian. Take care of us, even in this land that we feel that right now is like a desert. As we go through this pandemic, O oh Lord, we know that one day we'll count our blessings and thank you because you'll have delivered us through it, and most of all, you heal our land. Thank you this morning. We pray that you forgive our sins, direct us of the good ways that we should follow. And most of all, we remember the children who may be affected by this pandemic. The dear Lord, our heavenly Father, may you meet their needs this morning. May peace and grace be upon them. In Jesus' name we do pray and believe. Amen. Goodbye and see you next Sunday.